Hi everyone, I'm Tracy, your host for A Chandler's Channel, where every week I come to you and I bring you messages from my spirit guide, Whitehawk. And today's session is our weekly reading for September 30th to October 6th. So if that's what you're here for, please stay tuned. I'll go get Whitehawk in just a moment and consciously channel him. But for now, as always, I always touch back <clears throat> on the previous week's reading to see if there were any parallels or not any parallels. <laughs> but it's always interesting and you never know what other tips and information uh, I'm going to give to you in this little segment. Alright, so last week Whitehawk had said that indeed, again, it would be a, a very challenging week and um, <laughs> October is going to be challenging as well because um, uh, when I did our monthly reading, which is posted, so please have a have a listen. Um, you know, he did say it's going to be a rough October too. Um, but just remember, through all that, uh, you know, it doesn't mean the whole month. It just means probably a huge focus of the month will be challenging and when you go back and you look at October just as if you were to go back and look at a year uh, behind there's something that's going to pop up that's going to be the main focus right but it doesn't mean that other days or weeks throughout that weren't good so that's all that means so in last week's reading uh, Jesus let us know that he was around um, and is it not time to listen for him, for he is there watching us and over us all the time and, he, and, and coveting us. You'll have to go back. I'm paraphrasing and I might be doing a really bad job at paraphrasing that, which could completely change uh, its overall uh, meaning. So he was around and he also, Whitehawk, also gave us um, an idea of how grief affects us in our body. Some you know, will affect us in our legs, in our chest, in our nose, so meaning our sinuses, in our head, right, headaches, um, and, and other ways. And so through that, I've decided I'm going to do my uh, weekly reading, my intuitive reading with White Hawk's Wisdom on grief. So uh, I'll give you a piece of information of how, um, how some healing things I use, natural healing things I use, uh, that get me through those tough times. So that's just for you to know. What else did White Hawk say? That he's there with us always, and we need we need to know that. And last week's um, reading also took on a, a bit of a personal note, and that's okay because you know it still is something we can all learn from. Because perhaps there was a point in time in our life we were going through this. And maybe we haven't moved forward from that point in time yet, and this is going to shake us up and get us to move forward. Or maybe in the future, something like this will happen uh, to you or someone around you, and you'll recall this reading, and you'll be able uh, to use that information to move uh, to move forward or to help you or others around you. All right, so that was last week's reading. On with this week's reading. <clears throat> so I'm going to go get White Hawk. And I, when I do this, when I take a deep breath in and relax, it's not because I'm looking to connect with him. That's my, I'm relaxing. Because I'll tell you, like, White Hawk starts <laughs> the minute I say, let's go get White Hawk. He's like, boom, he's there. But I'm trying to relax so that I can connect with him um, better, get, get rid of my physical life, right? What's going on around me, the noises where my head is, and just take that deep cleansing breath um, to connect with him better. So that's what I'm doing when I do that, because he started already. <sighs> Indeed, he says. <sighs> Was it not, he says, a very challenging week last week? And I'm like putting up my hand going, that it was, that it was. He says, and you did all very well, my children. He says, coping, getting through it. He says, using the skills 
necessary to help you to get through your human life, he says. And so for that, he says, I bless you. And although it is written that October indeed will be another challenging month, he says, she is right, meaning me, Tracy, she is right to say that there will be times and places and moments um, that indeed will have light, will have meaning, will have joyfulness, will have happiness. So don't dismay, he says, when you are given such information as I am giving to you. I am simply forewarning you so that you may be prepared on a higher level to deal with what is coming your way. Do not focus on it. Do not grasp it. Do not hold on to it. Do not obsess over it, he says, for indeed that will make it worse. And he says you can never, never predict that which is coming to you, Ask this little one me. For she knows indeed the truth to that. For it will never come when you are obsessing about it and worrying about it and brooding about it. It will never come then. It only comes when you are moving forward in your life joyfully, gleefully, happily, unaware fully of what is coming. So be aware of this knowledge, he says, for you could never completely predict on the day, the month, the week, the year that an atrocity a tragedy, anything damaging in your life will come to you. You one must keep moving forward. One cannot sit in the fear. One cannot sit in the panic. One cannot sit in the worry of tragedies and death and worry and so many other things in life coming to you. For indeed, you will have wasted much energy and much life. Yes, Paul. And many of us, you know, nod our head in agreement. But this week is not such a week. Oh yes, there will be times in it that are difficult. But more so, he says, there will be times in it that are filled with kindness. That are filled with joyfulness and happiness and indeed the light will shine through much greater and much powerful, powerfully than it has in many months and or years to have come, or that have come, sorry he says, that have come. So be blessed my children in knowing that oftentimes in atrocities and tragedies, blessings can and will be. So in, new, in, in knowing this newfound knowledge, move forward in faith, and he's pointing up to the Lord, you know, in faith and in hope and with new eyes on how to see the world, that there is a reason, that indeed there is a reason for everything that happens to you and those around you. God bless children. It is short and is sweet, but it is powerful. God bless for listening here today and always as you move forward with the newfound knowledge I have delivered unto you here today. And he, he takes off like again, high O silver on his white horse, and off he goes. And strangely, it's like, uh, as he goes off high ho silver, <clears throat> he's going off like um, a cowboy would, shooting his gun off. Now, yeehaw! And he's shooting it like some, well, if he's a drunken cowboy, I don't think he's drunken, or more just happy. Yeah. Reckless? I don't know if he's reckless. But then he does speed off on his horse on his way. Thank you, White Hawk. Thank you. 
So that's our reading for the week. So there was a bit of light there, I think, a crack of light, uh, even though there's been a lot of uh, sorrow and tragedy and sadness surrounding us. And, but that indeed does bring changes. <clears throat> so move forward and uh, let's see where we arrive uh, next week when we come back here to talk about it. So, on Thursday will be the reading on grief, and in it I'm going to give you some of my own tips. I've mentioned that at the top of the video. So we'll see you then. Subscribe, it's free. Like, comment, in your comments, be kind and keep it clean. Share, because you never know um, who, who we're helping when you share. Um, just to note, so I had a couple of viewers, and you know who you are, thank you very much, one who had sent their condolences and sent me a lovely, lovely video um, on the afterlife and what it's like when you, when you go through the tunnel. And so here I am, and I channel, and there's a lot I can know, but I've not had a near-death experience, right? So I can't say, tell you what a near-death experience is. But there are others who have had that, and they share their information that comes through others such the way it has and that's the way I call people helping people right so help me help you and uh, so I want to thank um, I'll say torch 33 for that thank you and um, there was another viewer who had written into me about Whitehawk having come to her during a really difficult time in her life too and I want to thank you for sharing that for me because you know it just reminds me of how how connected honestly we really are in life and that you know Whitehawk's not solely here for me although I'm the one channeling him he can come to many people at once right is that omnipresence and indeed Jesus is very much like that uh, um, but it, it makes me smile uh, gives me hope um, for life that you know we're all being watched over and we're all being taken care of if we just listen and and be grateful uh, for moments in our life so thanks for being here we'll see you soon god bless i'm tracy for a channelers channel